Toyota's strategy for being carbon neutral is to create and provide a variety of technologies to accommodate the vastly different customer needs and market contexts around the world. The company's development of a new car with a hydrogen combustion engine is an example of this multi-technology strategy, which encompasses battery electric, fuel cell electric, plug-in hybrid electric, and hybrid electric vehicles. Welcome everyone! In today's video, we're going to tell you Toyota finally released the hydrogen combustion engine. The carmaker has already released a fuel cell vehicle, but it is currently developing a new application for H2. In a different route from its fuel cell-powered Mirai, Toyota has been working on a new car with a hydrogen combustion engine. Watch the complete video if you want to understand more about the specifics. But before we proceed, if you're new to this channel, remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Toyota finally released the hydrogen combustion engine. Some believe that because the Japanese manufacturer wants to use H2 as much as possible, EVs may be left behind. Toyota is developing a new branch in its varied carbon neutrality strategy with the hydrogen combustion engine. Although the carmaker started reducing the number of fossil fuel-powered vehicles it produced starting in 1997, when it unveiled the Prius, it hasn't completely shifted to all electric vehicles. Furthermore, the BZ4X, the company's first entirely battery electric vehicle, EV, sold just a small number of units by October 2022, and it doesn't plan to increase that car's manufacturing until 2025. The majority of those working in the auto sector are essentially silent, according to Akio Toyota, president of Toyota. The quiet majority is debating if having EVs as the only alternative is indeed acceptable. They are unable to speak aloud because they believe it to be the norm. We shouldn't restrict ourselves to one choice because the correct response is still ambiguous. According to JD Power, battery electrics have sold far more than H2 cars, although they still only account for a small portion of the overall new car market. Toyota recently unveiled its Corolla Cross H2 hydrogen combustion engine concept vehicle. While the Mirai fuel cell electric vehicle has seen only limited adoption due to a variety of factors, Toyota's Corolla Cross H2 concept, a prototype for an H2 internal combustion engine, ICE, creates a new market for these vehicles. The 1.6-liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine used in the GR Yaris and GR Corolla serve as the foundation for Toyota's hydrogen combustion engine. Of course, it has been modified to run on H2. A heavy-duty fuel tank was added as part of the modification process to hold the H2 under high pressure. The Mirai was used to steal that part. Stronger connecting rods, reinforced valves and valve seats, and gas fuel injectors rather than liquid fuel injectors are other alterations made to the design. The prototype can accommodate five passengers and their belongings, much like the regular Corolla. The Toyota hydrogen combustion engine is quick to refuel and uses fewer rare metals than other engines. The Toyota hydrogen combustion engine has a number of benefits, some of which are superior to those provided by EVs. Among them are the longer range and incredibly quick refilling times of this H2 ICE. In actuality, it takes just 90 seconds to refill a GR Yaris A2. In addition to these advantages for the driver, there are also advantages in terms of cost, material scarcity, and environmental friendliness because it doesn't require nearly as much of the rare metals, such as lithium or nickel, which are essential for the production of batteries. Although this car has a battery, it is much smaller than an EV. Currently, the Corolla Cross H2 concept car is being tested in actual conditions. Testing of the state of the winter roads is anticipated to start soon. The location of the tests will be northern Japan. While fuel cell-powered hydrogen vehicles are already on the market and in development, hydrogen combustion engines will give automakers and consumers a new technology choice. To discover more about how a combustion engine operates, you can also read their engine handbook. Several experts think that this type of zero and reduced carbon emission vehicle could soon have its moment, while EVs may soon reach their peak as electricity shortages worsen and green H2 prices continue to decline. That's all for today's video. If you like this Toyota feature, let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button 
so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.